Hey everybody, this is Dave from AskUncleDave.com. Today we're going to do part 3 of our Netgear Nighthawk X10. This is our newest router from Netgear and it has a lot of great features. It You're allowed to hook up hard drives to it with all your media and all your documents and music and things like that. And you can access it outside of the home. Pretty much uh, you can even download software that runs in the tray of your computer that allows you to access the admin page where you're going to do all the configuring of the router as well as access the hard drives and you can access these hard drives from inside and outside of your home using the ready cloud service that Netgear uh, provides now when it comes to Plex there's not a lot of devices aside from computers and NAS units that allow you to run the Plex server with a PC, you have to keep your computer running all the time, uh, and the server will seek out wherever you tell uh, the server where where all your media, audio, things like that, pictures are, so that it can configure them together, do some transcoding or remuxing, so that it can be played on various devices that you install the Plex client. So there's a server and there's a client. The client is the way to view it. The server is the way to uh, allow it to gather up all the media so that it can serve it to you. Now the other way I have uh, is I have a NAS and you pretty much uh, portal into it using a browser and you do the same uh, with the Netgear. You go into a browser and you can go into this and see the app there. You pretty much click on the app that you installed you tell the app exactly where to look and find media and then it will find it and serve it up to you. So I have it currently on my NAS but now I'm going to put it on the Netgear router. So that was my NAS. That's one of my uh, Plex servers. So I have it connected to two um, hard drives. One is a thumb drive and the other one is a one terabyte Seagate drive. I just have this picture here so you can see how easy it is just to plug it right in. Now when you install Plex onto uh, this Netgear router it installs the software right onto that hard drive. Then you make folders in that hard drive of pictures, videos, things like that and the server sees the hard drive. So everything runs onto the hard drive. All the storage is on the hard drive itself. So you might want to get yourself two hard drives uh, but you can only do one at a time with the Plex or a very large hard drive uh, because if you have a lot of movies that you rip, download, whatever, uh, you're going to you know need the room sooner or later and it's always good to start out. They make six terabyte hard drives that you can buy now for a couple hundred bucks uh, and in addition to buying this router which is about five hundred and fifty dollars it all depends on what you're in the market for but you can watch my previous videos to find out more about that. So let's get started. Uh, basically, I can click onto my browser. I can go into Ready uh, uh, Router Login, but I don't need to do that because I have the software installed. So I can go and click this and hit Admin Page. So I'll open up my Safari browser, and here is my admin page, and there's a Plex Media Server tab there. So what you have to do is you have to uh, enable the Plex Media Server. So you're telling the software, the firmware here, that you want to have Plex installed. So you also want to use a USB. So you click here and I have the two USBs connected to the uh, two hard drives connected to the USBs and you see three in here and the reason is because a lot of hard drives they have a small little tiny recovery partition so just have to look and see like this one has 931 um, gigabytes worth of storage but this one's 196 megabytes so that's obviously the recovery software so I want this big USB and I could choose this small little 15, 16 gig uh, thumb drive but you know of course we want the bigger one so we hit apply and basically it tells it right there uh, you know that you have one terabyte worth of storage here so then you want to enable here automatic uh, Plex versions so it will upgrade every time uh, you turn this on it will search and say hey there's a new update and let's install it so we're gonna hit apply always hit apply when it comes to the Nick here uh, software that you're running here and basically we're in now what it's gonna do 
it's 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 going to uh, I'm sorry let's enable it and let's hit apply oh, there we go now we hit open Plex and we're gonna put the admin that we have for this router so um, mine was admin and temporarily I did the password as password you know just for the learning purposes but it's going to be reset of course so now we log into our plex now you're going to see that the server name is r9000 now my other server is uh my azustor nas so that's my big gigantic six uh, 24 terabyte nas that i have in the basement and then i have my friend server because when you're a plex pass uh subscriber uh you can buy a one-time uh, fee to be a Plex uh, pass, and you get a lot of a uh, lot of uh, things that you get for free, or that other non-paid uh, members get. So I can share servers with friends. So my friend can click on my server that I shared with him and access all those terabytes and terabytes. I think I have like eight terabytes worth of movies and and uh, videos and TV shows and stuff. So that's a good thing. But we'll keep it on here now. I already configured this uh, a little bit, so uh, you're going to see that I have recently added television and all that stuff. But let's act like we're starting from the beginning again, okay? So we'll hit here, and let's just remove some stuff. Let's make this full screen, um, and we're going to delete this. Let's just start like we're completely starting over again, what you would see the first time, okay? So basically you would see this and it'd say it's empty there's nothing going on here's your server uh, so now what you do is you hit the plus sign just like you have it when you have it on a PC or a NAS and uh, you click on like say we want to do movies okay now ahead of time I mean movie folder TV folder I put a bunch of media in there I put a bunch of movies I put a bunch of TV shows so uh, we want to do movies so you can name this whatever you want I can just say like you know whatever router movies okay you know just whatever you want and then you hit next and then it says browse for media so normally on a computer you would browse you would go into your c drive you would, or go into one of your external drives and point it there but here it's uh forward uh, rar forward slash uh, temp then m and t and then sdal one or whatever so uh or or actually it's two so it's two it's one and then there's another one here that's the uh, that's the thumb drive so this is the partition and then this is the actual drive that I made those folders so it's SP SDA2 um, for you it may be something different but basically that's where we're going okay so we'll go here and I'm gonna click movies and I'm gonna hit add and then the next step you can add the library you can enable the plugin for metadata uh, whatever you want to use whatever company so there's only one movie on there and you're gonna see that it populates and now this these show that it's downloading the metadata and when we go to, to the home uh, you're gonna see that we have the movie itself with the synopsis and it's got some trailers some extras these are all the things you get with the Plex Pass so let's go home again and let's set up another one so we have router movies here and now we're gonna set up another one by hitting the plus sign here and we'll do some TV shows. So I'm just going to leave it as TV shows. We'll hit next. Browse. We know that it's SDA2. And I'm going to go into TV here that I already have some movies in. So I'm going to hit add. And if you want to go to advance, you can use the movie database or the uh, TV database. or Whatever you want to use for your preferences. Set whatever preferences you want. Hit add to the library. And you're going to see that it found three. Now, this is very, very fast. This Netgear has a 1.7 gigahertz quad core processor. So it's very, very fast. It's doing its metadata thing. Let's close it out like this so we can see. And anytime that you go in, uh, you can have it set automatically where you can click and update your libraries, optimize your database, clean bundles. Uh, if you have bundles installed and you want to just empty the trash, you could do that. So um, you can have optimized versions. Now, uh, you're going to see that these are start populating. It's looking up on the Internet. So we can go into settings here, and you can see that we're at version 2.7.4.
and I like to show advanced and then you have the server you can click here to check for updates you can also um, and when you get the update it would download to your computer and then you would install it onto the router itself with a manual install so here we have all different uh, functions and features you can set this up to uh, work outside of your home uh, with re remote access here uh, user um, these are me and, and my friend that I have and devices these are all the devices that I have uh, that I use so let's go back home out of settings and basically now I found all of the movies and TV shows say we wanted to watch Westworld I have one version on there I can click and start playing that so let's do that um, we can edit the metadata if it's wrong and, and you can sync it and I have it synced so that I can cloud sync it to my Amazon uh, cloud drive by the way Amazon cloud drive is also going to have the Plex media server so that you can run everything in the cloud the server in the cloud and all of your media in the cloud the only downside is a lot of people are fearful that ripped um, you know media or downloaded from illegal sites uh, if you store that all on Amazon you break their uh, terms of use uh, who knows if they'll rat you out but uh, what we do know is that if they find out you're doing copyrighted material they will shut down your cloud drive account so we really don't want that the best way to do the Plex media server with media that is questionable is to make sure that you're storing it on a drive that's in your house somewhere tucked away deep in your basement on a NAS or on a router like we have here so the cloud Amazon cloud uh, version of Plex uh, you can roll the dice uh, you know the way to get caught out there in this world is to make sure uh, and it, the way to get caught is to put it out there that you actually have ripped media and have it stored somewhere that is not under your main control you get the idea so let's um, we could sync this if we want it'll sync for offline use and then you can install it on your cloud drive and then download it from your cloud drive or whatever okay so uh, basically it is the same Plex media server that you get oh let's play the show um, I'm gonna hit play and you're gonna see boom look how, look how fast that loads up that is incredibly incredibly fast that's as a matter of fact that is faster than the NAS that I have that has the same exact specs a quad core processor at 1.7 gigahertz with two gigabytes of RAM I'm not quite sure what RAM this has but I'll put it in the description of full uh, specs on this router now uh, you're saying to yourself how do I get all the media onto the hard drive that's connected to the router so there's a couple of ways to do that and I'm going to show it to you because I want to show you that it, it's easy to use it's not like you have to go disconnect it from the router and then put it into your computer and take the movie and throw it on what you can do is you can use uh, this so here's the USB uh, storage that I use you click it and basically uh, sign in to your cloud my cloud drive uh, I'm gonna hit remember and boom it gets mounted right onto mounted right onto your desktop whether you're Mac or Windows so you can double click that open and then you want to throw some movies in you download it or rip some from a DVD boom throw them right on here they go automatically over the air on the Wi-Fi and into that drive that's connected to your router okay the other way you could even download movies from outside the house but probably uh, this is the download manager you could do FTP and all that stuff now uh, the other thing is when you go into finder or Windows Explorer you're gonna see that you can access your router by the IP that it's assigned when you first connect it um, and there goes the two drives there you have uh, the AFP that's max version of seeing things over the network the UPnP or DLNA and all that stuff and ready share which is the Windows version of finding things over the air that's connected to your Wi-Fi so here is the some of the movies that I downloaded and basically you can access your hard drive on the router over the Wi-Fi network you can put your Plex server onto that hard drive that's connected to your router and access that over your Wi-Fi to clients like Plex or even some TVs because I had a question in one of the comments 
of 4K TVs play this high format. It's called HEVC, and that is a format that a high definition video uses. And uh, for some reason, Plex is having a hard time transcoding that. Maybe it's because it's so big and so meaty that it's hard for it to go. But what the good news is, if you store one of these uh, HEVCs uh, files onto your uh, Plex server or onto the hard drive, you can actually use the 4K TV software and you can DLNA or uh, pull it right over the air and start playing it and it'll work. Uh, so you don't really necessarily have to go through Plex. You can basically access your drive just like your Finder access your drive and double click or you know use the software and it will play that high meaty um, you know optimized hungry uh, format for your 4K TVs. So that's how you run Plex on a router. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click on these links for more great videos. Even if you're on mobile phone, you can click these. Don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe for more great videos. Have a nice day and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.